What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we are going to be looking at Langflow and I did a video on Langflow a few weeks back and I showed you how to install and self-host Langflow using Python, using pip install, etc. And it's pretty uh, simple to do it that way. It's pretty simple to do it anyway regardless but I was getting some people ask hey how do I host it on a server or Coolify or whatever the case may be. Um, a lot of people are very interested in Langflow because this is a really, really cool tool. If you're new and you haven't seen that last video about Langflow, I'll uh, quickly go over it and you'll see how awesome this tool is. Um, but we're going to show you how to host it, self-host it on Coolify. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so just a quick background on Langflow. Um, essentially, uh, it's somewhat of, uh, I would say, maybe an alternative to tools like Flowwise AI, as well as Diffy AI. And these both are two really good tools. I've done videos on them, showing you how to self-host them on uh, Coolify, self-host them. And Langflow is somewhat similar. It's basically the easiest way to create and share automate, uh, autonomous agents, discover simple a simpler way to build uh, around foundation models so retrieval pipelines um, AI driven apps a bunch of stuff that you can do here and fine-tuning prompt variables group components custom components and the cool thing I I really like about uh, Langflow is it's Python based so at least as of now I haven't um, I I don't think i've seen a tool like langflow um i you know i know there's so many tools out there maybe if you guys have seen something that's very similar to it that is python based and like uh can do the these sort of things let me know in the comments down below but that's why i'm really uh excited about this tool and excited to build on it because you can use the no code function to build things in python basically with it and then you can even see the python code which is really useful I don't know about you guys, but uh, especially ever since, you know, AI, I mean, AI has been going on for a long time, but really since I've been really, really diving into AI, I've been re um, definitely trying to fine tune my Python coding and whatnot, even though you can always get AI to assist you. I'm just really trying to, because um, Python is the language, uh, the main go-to language around uh, machine learning, AI, etc. So anyways, um yeah link for everything will be in the description down below link to langflow.org as well as to the docs so like i said uh you can check out the video i did before where i basically show you how to install langflow uh using python all right so i'm not going to be doing the python install in this video uh we're going to be using coolify now the same thing applies to for really anything like if you're hosting it on a server example for example I'm just using Coolify um, because one, Coolify is pretty good. It's open source and you can self-host it. And I've done like probably about 10, 12 videos, maybe even on Coolify. So, uh, but just to quickly summarize it, if you go to coolify.io, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go to self-hosted and you literally just run this command and then you'll get a nice self-hosted Coolify. And it's essentially an alternative to tools like Netlify, Heroku, Vercel, etc. It's 100% free. It's pretty awesome. I use it for many different apps and I really, really like it. So let's go ahead and go to the, um, oh, also too, I will mention you can sign up for their, uh, you know, cloud version and I'll leave a link for this too. I mentioned this in my last video, but you don't even have to self host Langflow. Maybe if you just want to try it out to initially and then self host it, um, you can go to datastacks.com, astra.datastacks. I'll leave a link below. You can sign up and uh, you can give it a try. Okay, so this is the GitHub repo for Langflow. I'll leave a link down below. Well, actually, this is just my forked version, but same thing. I'll leave a link to the uh, original version. And um, it goes through the install of installing it with pip or Python. Um, we're going to do it, deploy it using Docker. And initially, I just didn't see you know the docker part but you just actually have to go into docker right here and then just go into the docker readme um where is the docker readme 
Docker example, sorry, Docker example, and then go into the Docker readme, and you'll see running Langflow with Docker. So um, there's still a few configurations I'm doing and just uh, with the install to get it to how I want it, but the basics is what I'll show you here. So running Langflow with Docker, and when you're installing many different tools or apps like on Coolify or on a server, some a lot of them can sometimes have different configurations or this or that that you wanna do. So um, sometimes it can be tricky sometimes, but um, this one's pretty somewhat, like it's it's not too tricky. So um, what we're gonna do is we're, so if you're doing this just on your, like your own, you could do this just on your own computer and just like s install it there and uh, without using Python and just use Docker and you would just clone the repository CD into Langflow Docker example and then Docker could compose up. But since in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with um, with uh, Coolify. Okay, so once we're in Coolify, um, I'm already in a project and a re uh, an environment. So I'm just, and then I, I'm in a resource. Once you create a new resource, you're going to just click on for well for you can do it many different ways. We're just going to click on public repository. You're going to paste in the Langflow repo, check repo, and then we're going to click on build pack and click on Docker compose. Okay, from that point on, we're going to put in the Docker compose location, which is Docker Docker example and then Docker compose. So right here, it will be docker dash example forward slash and then docker compose yaml without an A like that. So that's the docker location. We'll click on continue. All right. And then you will see um, your basically your, your whole configuration can reload the compose file right here to make sure that it's pulling it okay wait so it couldn't be found i may have put the wrong location docker oh it's docker underscore example so here underscore and then save okay now let's reload this and we should get the docker compose Okay, perfect. So I got the Docker Compose right here. And as you can see, like you could adjust this if um, you need to, and you would just obviously fork the repo and change some stuff. But um, yeah, and then Coolify just adds the Coolify tags to it, the labels, the traffic. Um, okay, and then from that point on, you simply just deploy. Now I'm not going to deploy it right now because I actually already have an instance deployed on the same port and uh, I'm not going to change the port. Um, but once you deploy it, you shouldn't get any issues. It's pretty deployable right out of box. Okay. Once you do that, you can go, the port is uh, 7860. So you can go to your server IP forward slash 7860 and you'll see Langflow loaded up. Okay, um, just a quick overview of Langflow. I'm not going to dive super, super deep, but if you want me to do f more videos on it, which I probably will regardless anyways, especially once I start using it a lot more, I will. Um, but let's just go, I, I, you could do new project here and like select a specific project. You can go to store as well. And just to do this, you have to connect your store API. So you just go into your settings and it when you go to API, um, it will say you have to like sign up through the Langflow store so you can go create a free account. And then once you're in there, it will give you an API and you just put it in your self-hosted version. And then you'll be able to pull um, the the different components, flows, bundles available on the Langflow store. If I go to um, collections here, let's just take a look at vector store reg. So I'll just show you kind of the power of this tool Langflow. Um, Obviously, I'm, we're not going to run it and connect everything right now, but you can see this is a rag, a vector store rag, with chat input, open AI embeddings, Astro data, uh, database right there, parse data prompt uh, right here to open AI to chat output. And then we have uh, the vector store. So that's the 
this is the querying right here and the embedding so the embedding query so embedding the query into astra parsing the data and etc and then this is the um the vector store part so we got a file then split text um and embedding so chunking and embedding right here and then into astra database right so not going to go through every single component but you that's the cool thing too in the store you can add like components you can build components yourself like it's very customizable um we got like embeddings vector stores helpers models data prompts outputs and uh like all the different ones you could pretty much think of and another really cool thing is like if i hover over this and i click here I get the code for this whole workflow, which is really insane. Like this is the Python code. I could literally copy this, open up an IDE. Uh, I could open up uh, VS code or PyCharm. Um, and then I could just like, maybe have to make a few changes and whatnot, but you got, um, you really do have a, a Python code right here. So I really like that. Um, it gives you a lot of custom customization ability. As well as even too, if you're learning how to build out these like these pipelines and all these things like with within pipeline that uh but python this is also a really good tool to help you because you can also just like build it out you could build it out in no code and then look at the, the code and like see okay how did i do this like what how's it working um etc etc right so that's what i really like about this tool that's why i'm really excited about it um i think it's a very very kind of a uh, tool a lot of people are excited about uh, based on you know the comments and whatnot about the last youtube video so i know a lot of you guys on this channel use things like coolify self host etc use all these other tools so um i just want to make a video showing you guys how to do that don't want to make it too too long since i did cover this tool already but i will be doing more videos showing you how to build things out in this tool as well as well as a bunch of other ai videos right if you're new to the channel we upload videos every single day on ai automation workflows business entrepreneurship marketing sales etc really anything uh coding with ai etc so make sure to smash that like button smash that subscribe button if you got value here and you want to stay up to date with the daily uploads also too guys if you're new here and you haven't already joined the stride community definitely check that out in the link down below it's our free facebook group free discord channel we have about 750 800 members in both of those combined also too, guys, if you haven't already checked out my book, Client Acquisition Code, showing you how to get clients for your business with AI, pack your calendar, definitely check that out. Link in the description down below. Other than that, guys, um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help. But I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.